Hello, welcome to Chief Workshop. Visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, look for the link in the description where you'll find uh, a free mini course in that link. And uh, well worth your while. So let's get started. Good day. Okay. Today we are just going to have some quick tips on how to organize your layout sheets, how an architect typically organizes his sheets. Uh, A1, typically you'll have your automatic uh, sheet counter. Uh, can we start with A1? Uh, we like to have a little visual information. What will the house look like? So we put that on the first sheet. What does the site plan look like? That's very typical to have on the first sheet. Drawing index. So we know what, where to find uh, information. And uh, some other typical stuff is the certification uh, codes that were used. Um, and that's typical sort of stuff that happens on sheet one. Sheet two, we continue the elevations. Again, we don't have as many notes as in sheet one as most of the materials have been called out on the other sheets. Uh, we have a building section. Uh, th this one uh, shows how the stair provides he uh, head clearance. And notice the use of the thermosteel panel uh, in the wall section. And it's carried on some lamb beams. So we need to detail how the panels can only span about uh, 11, 12 feet. So we have to break up the span uh, aesthetically and structurally. So that's what happens there. And uh, we have a blow up uh, from the previous sheet. We have that blow up of the wall section. It's done at half inch scale, which is a chief scale. And again, we use some, uh, we send the uh, blowed up section at half inch scale to a detail, um, CAD detail, and then we can infill. We can just trace and create infills for the dirt the foundation and you'll notice that the prefab foundation sits on a 10 inch bed of rock and creates the first floor and then the thermosteel panel gets bolted down to that so we have sort of a hybrid precast construction precast foundation precast first floor garage thermosteel panel second floor and thermosteel roof panel there so this is a, a green shell uh, designed house fourth sheet we typically uh, in this case now we start the floor plan of course previously we had the foundation with all the stuff that has to happen to it in terms of cutouts some uh, stuff with the sewer etc floor plan structural info there's those lamb beams that hold up the panels and we'll have a uh, symbol guide what do the symbols mean look light symbols, etc. And this is a typical CAD detail. You can paste up a couple of notes to the contractors. Make sure you figure everything out before you start building it. Uh, some code required structural information, code required insulation information, and values for the windows. Again, that's required by code. Second floor plan on this set. And again, extensive sections which are easy to do with chief you can cut them easily again just transfer it to a detail sheet erase extraneous information and send it to your layout sheet and with the information you can tell the uh, carpenter where you want your stuff to bear and then we'll have some schedules door schedule again we use the schedule function of chief to create the door schedule cabinet schedule electrical schedule, fixture schedule, and a window schedule, making it very easy for the bidders just to go to this sheet and uh, they don't have to trace with the drawings and figure out uh, count fixtures, count cabinets, count doors. It's all figured here on the schedule by chief using the BIM method. And typically I will also have a page seven with specifications, but uh, this set was really not entirely completed, but uh, it gives you the idea. So there's a quick uh, overview of how to organize your architectural set for architectural beginners.
Hey guys, don't forget to shoot me an email at nando at chiefarchitectworkshop.com. N-A-N-D-O at chiefarchitectworkshop.com. Ask me a question about what you're having trouble with, and I will answer it on a YouTube video for all to see. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Remember to visit our website uh, where there's a blog which we will upload all the uh, free tutorials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel which also will have uh, the tutorials. Uh, look in the description for a free mini course in Chief Architect. Uh, click on that and take advantage of that. And uh, see you next time.